Hey YouTube, Nurse Mark here. Now this is a very specific video that's kind of near and dear to my heart, but if you too have a high serum creatinine level, a lower EGFR, carry a little bit more muscle mass than the average person, and have a very high protein diet, you might be a little bit concerned about your kidneys. So let's talk about cystatin C and how it relates to kidney function in muscular individuals with a high protein diet. Now I've made a video in the past talking about whether or not high protein diets lead to kidney failure. And the general consensus is that no, high protein diets don't lead to kidney failure. If you have a pre-existing kidney condition, yes, it will absolutely exacerbate that kidney condition, but it doesn't lead to kidney failure. But one thing that a high protein diet does do is it'll elevate something called serum creatinine. And this is a blood value that we use to look at uh, your EGFR or estimated glomerular filtration rate, as well as your kidney function overall. And you can look at that other video that I made in the past if you're really interested in that. So, what eating a high-protein diet does is it increases your serum creatinine and causes your EGFR to go down, making it look like you might have kidney failure. Now, you also have a little bit more muscle mass than the average person, and having extra muscle mass, what that does is that sends your serum creatinine a little bit higher too, and then your EGFR a little bit lower as well. You can see why this might be a problem. So, I've had a high creatinine and a low EGFR for many years now, but the nice thing about my job is I have access to a lot of different specialists, nephrologists, internal medicine doctors, ICU doctors, and I've had these conversations with them about my concerns about my kidneys, and they've come to one overall conclusion. EGFR sucks for muscular individuals with a high protein diet. Unless you have signs and symptoms of kidney failure, you probably don't have kidney failure and you're fine. I didn't accept that as an answer. I wanted to know. So when I asked what can be done, how can I confirm that my kidneys are actually working, the answer is, well, you can get a renal ultrasound. Nobody would book me for a renal ultrasound because there's no reason I don't have signs and symptoms. And as a nurse, I am A-OK -okay with that because I would be taking an ultrasound spot for a patient that absolutely needs it when I probably don't. I could get one done locally, all right, but they cost an arm and a leg in Canada. Well, that's when I discovered something called cystatin C. So cystatin C is a protein that's produced in the body. When this value is normal in your blood work, it means everything's okay with your kidneys. If it's slightly elevated, it could mean that you're having kidney problem, but best of all is it's not affected by muscle mass or protein intake. So if you're in the US, you can get a cystatin C done everywhere. But if you're in Canada, you can't get it done anywhere. So I had to get blood work done and sent off to a lab in the United States. So much for the glorious Socialist Republic of Canada healthcare system. So everything came back completely normal. The doctors were correct. My cystatin C came back normal. My EGFR based off of my creatinine and my cystatin C was totally normal. I had absolutely nothing to worry about. They were right. The problem is I didn't know. I wasn't positive. I always had those concerns in the back of my head. Now my blood markers are all normal. I don't have to worry about whether or not my lifestyle is impacting my kidneys negatively. Confirmation is comfort, boys and girls. If you have a high protein diet, high muscle mass, and your blood work keeps coming back with a high creatinine but a low EGFR, and you're just worried about your kidneys but the doctor says don't worry about it, look at trying to get a cystatin C done, and you can get it done annually and serially to make sure that that number is not changing to ensure that your lifestyle is not negatively impacting your health and your kidneys. That's it, boys and girls. Ask questions, seek out as much knowledge as you can, and confirm that what you're doing isn't negatively impacting your health. Like and subscribe, questions and comments down below, and as always, eat like a bodybuilder and train like a powerlifter.